Officials have now decided that the cruise ship, the Grand Princess, which has been stranded off the coast of California, will be allowed to dock at Oakland near San Francisco on Monday. 21 people have tested positive. Well, joining me now from the Grand Princess are mother and daughter, Leanne Higgins and Kaylee Higgins Ott. Hello to you both. First of all, I just want to make sure our viewers know who's who. So, uh, Leanne, would you mind waving? Hi. And Kaylee. Hi. Hey, guys. Right. Uh, what kind of information are you being given about what will happen? So we just get, got an announcement that once we do get to Oakland, the first people that are going to get off are the people who are critically ill. And then second are the California residents, so ourselves. And once we get to Oakland, we're actually going to be relocated to um, an army base, the Travis Army Base. And once we're actually at our relocation, then we're going to get tested there and in further isolation. <laughs> What are conditions like on board at the moment for you both? Um, it's still pretty good. Um, we're sk still getting fed. We uh, have been able to get out on our balcony and talk to some of our balcony mates. Uh, the morale has been pretty, pretty good. Um, I think people are just kind of ready to get off the boat. Yeah, some people in the inner rooms, they actually got a chance to get some fresh air today, which I think is great because I think if I was trapped without a balcony, I'd probably yeah. lose my mind. And what, what do you both do all day? Uh, we watch movies or TV shows. Uh, we've been doing a lot of um, scouring the news, trying to find out some information. Uh, we've taken a couple naps today. <laughs> And, and when you talk to the other passengers, you said some in the inner rooms had had a chance to get some fresh air. What are your conversations like? Do you share information? Yeah, so the people next to us are from Georgia, and they're actually going to get um, back to Georgia when we get to Oakland. They're going to um, transport them back to Georgia, which is about 100 miles away from where they actually live. So um, best of luck to them. Hopefully they can get home as soon as possible. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to show our viewers some pictures of the ch that time when the helicopter uh, landed some testing kits mm. on the ship. Did you manage to see that helicopter dropping the kits? We did. We did. <laughs> and it was uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> and, and, and one of the concerns uh, that the outside world has is that only a, f a small number of people on board the ship have been tested so far. Of course, you will be tested when you get to land. But are you concerned that testing should have started earlier? I don't know. I think it's important for us to get tested, obviously, but um, it was it took a while for them to find out the test results of the only the 46 people that were tested. So I think they're doing the best they can um, in the situation that we're in. And yeah, it's hard with the uh, incubation period to um, you know know whether or not it would have made a difference if we would have been tested two days ago or two days away. Sure. And finally, are you both prepared for potentially quite a few days in quarantine once you get off uh, the ship? Um, no, I don't <laughs> think we are prepared for that. Uh, they said it'll be 14 days. Um, we, we, we don't know what to expect. We don't know what it's like right now. We're really comfortable with our room and it could be completely different. So we'll see what's in store for us. Leanne Higgins and Kaylee Higgins are fascinating to talk to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more on the coronavirus outbreak, please head to the BBC News website. The address is bbc.com forward slash news. Alternatively, you can download the BBC News app.